In this video, we'll show you how to take the running performance test. The running performance test is a tool especially designed for runners, allowing them to track their progress and find out their unique training zones for running sports. Regular and frequent testing helps you plan your training wisely and follow changes in your running performance. The running performance test gives you maximum aerobic power MAP, maximum aerobic speed MAS, and maximal oxygen uptake VO2 max as results. In addition, the maximal test gives you your maximum heart rate, HR max. The test can be either submaximal or maximal depending on your own evaluation after the test. The submaximal test, which requires that at least 85% of HR max is exceeded, is a reproducible, safe, and non-exhaustive alternative to the maximal test. You can repeat the submaximal test as often as you wish, and you can also perform it as a warm-up before a training session. If you don't know your HR max, you could benefit from doing the maximal test first to find out your maximum heart rate. The maximal test is very tough, but it's very accurate. The maximal test measures your maximum heart rate, whereas the submaximal test uses your HR max when calculating your results. The load of the maximal running test is considerably heavier compared to the submaximal test. Go to the running performance test by pressing the back button and swiping to the tests menu. Choose running test from the list. The how-to view shows a detailed breakdown of the test and instructions on performing it. Define your initial speed for the running test. The initial speed can be set between four to 10 minutes per kilometer. Note that if you set the initial speed too high, you may have to quit the test too soon. After defining your speed, choose Start and scroll down to see an overview of the test. The test includes warm-up, test, and cool-down phases. When you're ready to start the test, choose Next. Check the questions concerning your health and accept to go to the pre-training mode. The sport profile is shown in a purple color in the test view. Choose an appropriate indoor or outdoor running sport profile. Start the test by tapping the display. The watch guides you through the test. We recommend performing the warm-up phase before the actual test. When you're ready to start the test phase, tap the Start Test button. Once you've reached the initial speed, the test recording starts, and you need to run at a steadily increasing speed following the target pace. The blue value shows the steadily increasing target speed that you should follow as precisely as possible. The white value below it shows your current speed. The watch gives you an alarm if you go too fast or too slow. The red arrow and the blue curve with the speed values at each end illustrate the allowed range. The test ends if you fail to follow the target speed closely enough. Note that the speed increases slowly, so avoid quick changes in speed. At the bottom of the display, you can see your current heart rate, the minimum heart rate required for the submaximal test, and your current maximum heart rate value. To complete the test successfully, you need to run for at least six minutes and reach at least 85% of your HR max. If you're trying to reach your maximum heart rate capacity, keep running after the minimum test time and 85% of HR max reached messages are shown. When you want to stop the test, just stop running and the test stops automatically. The test results are shown after you stop the test from the watch. The watch will ask you, was this your maximum effort if you didn't reach or exceed your maximum heart rate value? The test summary shows your maximum aerobic power, maximum aerobic speed, and maximal oxygen uptake, known as VO2 max. 
If the test wasn't maximal, max heart rate from test phase is labeled submax. To get a more detailed and illustrated analysis of the test, and to update your Polar training zones, sync your V2 with Polar Flow. The maximal version of the running performance test allows you to determine your HR max, as well as your maximal aerobic speed and power zones. To help long-term follow-up, we've gathered all the test data in one place, in the Polar Flow web service. In the tests page, you can see all the tests you performed and compare their results. You can see your long-term progress and easily view changes in your performance. Hope you enjoy your Polar Vantage V2. And if you need any other information about your device, watch the other Polar Vantage V2 videos on this channel or go to our website, polar.com.